Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Toast and today we are back with another Final Fantasy Brave Exodus video and uh, today I was surprised we got the news so let's talk about the news that we're getting uh, so if you guys wondered this weekend and you're lacking some of those Cactuars for those future 7 stars that we are getting uh, this weekend the Cactuar Dunes is going to be open so you guys will be able to farm for this ca those Cactuars a little bit more just before those big seven stars dropped in maybe a week or two. So this is going to be news number one. News number two, we get our Star, uh, star Ocean collab. So uh, coming with the collab, we're going to get a, a raid event, which we haven't had in a while since we got like three in a row the last time. Uh, Vanquish Jai Revorce. This is what we are fighting, uh, that robot type thing. So it's going to start on Friday. Uh, obviously, like any raid event, you guys will get coins as the boss getting stronger. You're gonna get more coins, and you'll be able to get some of um, some equipment. And we're gonna go over the equipment right here, right now. Sorry, uh, fierce bolt attack 110 with the wind element on uh, enables auto regen, and uh, it's a two-handed weapon. So maybe a true double hand build with that thing. You never know. Uh, so you basically restore HP each turn. Then I'm gonna try to pronounce the name of this weapon right here. Koga Rasu Maru. That was not bad. Uh, dark element. It looks like a katana. So it's a katana with a dark element. Attack 72, which is not that bad. Then you're gonna get Scarlet Roses. Attack and magic 60. Uh, plus 60 technically and earth elemental attached to this weapon uh, These are actually really good. I love having those hybrid attack and magic especially because I like to give it to uh, Sometimes Veritas of the light and you're able to chain with them or even if you want to give it to uh, your uh, What's your name? Lara Croft if you still want to use her every once in a while uh, other event Limited equipment that we're gonna be uh, able to get is the ride gear the Take Mikazuchi all right, which is a dagger, which looks really, really big for a dagger, but sure. And a metal pipe, which is considered as a sword. That's pretty funny. So like any other raid events, you're going to get orbs every hour. They're going to refill and you're going to be able to take on the boss, do a lot of damage. And after that, just get some raid coins and summon for more stuff. Uh, you're going to be able to get a unit from the raid summon. Also, you'll be able to get some Moogles, which is really, really good. Four star tickets. Uh, giant Cactuars and uh, Giant Cactuars right here and uh, King Gill Snappers which is really really good if you're lacking that gill but those Moogles right here and that 4 star ticket is looking really really good also you'll be able uh, you'll be able to summon Raimi which is a 4 star unit going into 6 stars uh, we're going to go over Trustmaster right here Seed of Hope boost HP by 10% and Poison Blind Sleep Silence Paralysis Confusion Disease and Stone Resistance uh, I checked online and they were saying it was 50% resistance to those status ailments. I'm not sure if it's going to be the same thing on global, but take note that it's only 50% that I saw. We're going to see once the data mine comes out if it's 100%. If it is, it's a little bit better than nothing. Uh, also, she has rush modes. Uh, rush mode. Consume own LB gauge to boost attack, defense, magic, and spirit. Uh, lunar divina uh, divination. <laughs> Damage all enemies for three quarter of HP. I don't know why they would put that on this unit, but why not, right? And uh, Hunter's Moon, damage all enemies and damage all enemies next turn. So I guess it's a move that it's going to be casted the second turn right away uh, at the beginning of the turn. So, okay, the character looks really cool. Uh, I just wish they would have done something a little bit better with those uh, abilities. But once again, we're going to see once the data mine comes out over all these units, see if they're a little bit better than uh, what we think they are and coming with this raid event we're gonna go right here featured summon we got we are getting the star ocean feature summon uh anamnesis so you guys will be able to get those units we're gonna go over all of them we're gonna have fidel reina fate I, i'm gonna call him fate fate not faith fate and rotic we're gonna go right here so so2 i don't know why they call him so2 reina Rana, uh, she's a healer, uh, 5 star going to 6 stars, we have to take note on that, uh, spirit 197, HP 3445, attack 116, defense, MP in 196 is actually pretty high, which is really good, but her SPR, this is where everything goes when you're a healer, uh, her trust master, knuckles of hope, attack plus 20, spirit 110, MP 30% and enables auto refresh, which is not bad at all, uh high spirit which is really really good um 
not bad at all. We're gonna go over uh, some other things right here. Uh, just I like I like a staff better, just because you have staff mastery where you can boost your SPR a little bit more. But uh, 110 is not bad at all. That thing could actually be good for uh, Leela. So if you get two of those, you can actually chain your Leelas together, which is really, really cool. Uh, going to the next one, healing uh, light, restore HP and MP every turn and fills LB gauge. Power up, boost attack for one ally, guard, boost defense for one ally. Then she has enhanced dispel, cure uh, poison, blind sleep, silent paralysis, confusion, disease and stone and remove stop from all allies. For all allies, sorry. And martial arts, knowledge, nullify paralysis and stop and boost HP and SPR when equipped with fists. So that's removed right there. Then we have fate. The attacker is a 5 star going to 6 star. Uh, really high attack 206 which is really cool. It's trust master. Really nice. Attack 135 and it's a light element attached to the sword. It's a sword and not a great sword so take that in note. Uh, then he has his featured abilities, self-taught swordmanship, boost attack when equipped with a sword, which is pretty standard for a damage dealer. Then you get global upgrades, uh, air raid, deal partial unmitigated damage to one enemy, and blade of fury, damage one enemy and power up with consecutive uses. That's actually pretty, pretty cool. Uh, I can't wait to see those move. And like I said, data mine comes out. We're going to be able to have a little bit more information on the percentage and on the um, multipliers for each move. Then we got Fidel, which is a 4 star going to 6 star. He has high HP. Uh, we're going to go over his uh, Trust Master right here. Fortitude and Vigor. Boost attack by 40% and boost defense every turn. Not bad. I like the attack 40%. That's actually not bad at all, especially if you guys are lacking some high attack stats or some masteries. This thing is actually pretty good. Uh, featured ability. Abyssal Gate. Damage all enemies and damage one enemy. Hmm. Can't wait to see how this works. Uh, Cyclone Blade. Damage and reduce wind resistance for all enemy, so it's probably going to be around like 50% or something like that. Then his global upgrade, air raid, deal partial unmitigated damage to one enemy. So he's going to be able to chain with Mr. Fate right here. So that thing could actually be pretty, pretty damn cool. Then we're going to go over the last one, the last one, the last one. Rotic, his job is an attack, so, so attack 149. To be expected from a 3 star going into a 5 star. We're gonna go over his TM, uh, Miley's Charm, Defense and Spirit plus 8, HP and MP plus 10%, it's an accessory. Boost Fire, Water, Wind, Earth, Light and Dark Resistance by 10%, enables Millie's Filling, Rotic only, uh, boost attack by 30%. So once you equip that on him, it's gonna boost his attack by 30%. So other than that, uh, I don't wanna say that DM is really really good, because that 30% is good on him, but... To be honest, when are you guys used? Are you uh, when are you guys gonna use this guy? I don't think that's gonna happen. His featured abilities: Dragon Slash, deal partial unmitigated lightning damage to one enemy. Then Defense Force of Kratos, boost attack by 30%, another boost in attack. And Thunderclap Blade, lightning damage and reduce lightning resistance for one enemy. Uh, nothing else. Yeah, so he's not really, really that great. Uh, this guy's interesting. So is whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa, my mouse is going crazy. And uh, Fate also, I like that TM, that 135 light element uh, sword is actually really, really good. And uh, Rena, mm, like I said, I want to see the moves. I want to see the other moves she's going to get. But if you guys already have a big healer, uh, Ayaka, CG Fina, uh, I don't know, don't, don't, don't risk it, guys. Uh, seven stars are coming really, really uh, soon. Uh, if you guys... Obviously, these characters are here for a limited time. If you want to pull maybe 5,000 Lapis because you have the resource, go for it. If you have some tickets, go for it. Uh, obviously, it's a nice banner, but 7 stars are coming really, really soon. Uh, we're going to get a lot of good units coming out soon also. Uh, are they worth pulling for? Well, if you're liking some of the stuff, their TM is actually really nice. Fidel's TM is actually really, really, really nice. Uh... Rodic also could be useful, that 40% in attack is actually not bad. Also Rena, Fate, not that good, but the other ones, it's all up to you. If you feel like you have the resources, go for it. If uh, you, you know, you're free to play, you want to keep some of the, re the resources, keep them. Uh, you guys know maybe IO is going to come around September or maybe even before, we never know because Gumi might be super generous with us, uh, but keep those Lapis. Keep those tickets if you need to, and if you're a whale or just under a whale, 
uh, then pull on this banner because those TMs are looking actually not bad, and the characters are the characters too are looking pretty pretty decent. Uh, we're gonna move on to the next one though, because we got uh, one more thing, actually two more things. The uh, special return summon. So you guys remember, for all the lapis you were gonna spend in the game uh, prior to the maintenance on June 29, I think. So let's say for every 5,000 lapis that you spent in the game uh, since the day you started playing, you would get a 3-star ticket. And for every 50k lapis you would spend in the game, you would get a 4-star ticket. So this Friday, we're gonna go right here because I watched, I saw it on the news. Uh, this Friday, so uh, July 27th to Monday, uh, August, no, Monday, October 1st, jeez. Uh, you're gonna be able to get those tickets back. So let's see, we're gonna go right here. So for every five lapis, uh, 5,000 lapis spent, special return 3-star summon ticket times 1. For every 50k lapis spent, special return 4-star plus 1 ticket. Uh, rewards are counted separately, therefore if a player has spent 52,000 uh, lapis in summons, the player is eligible to receive the following special return, a 10 3-star tickets and one 4-star ticket. So let's say you spent, like they said, uh, 50,000, well you're gonna get 10 3-star tickets because 5,000 lapis times 10 times is 50,000 and the 50k that you spend total is another four star so it's almost like a 10 plus one ticket so uh that's actually not bad so for every 50k lapis spent you're technically getting a 10 plus one with a four star guaranteed if we can put it this way and that's gonna start on friday so i think on friday if i get all my tickets we might do a big poll video we're gonna see exactly what we get then we're getting uh three spar uh three three spurs three star espers unlocked uh, Lakshmi and Titan, so you guys will be able to uh, awaken them to their three stars. Uh, these things are coming really, really fast. I don't think I have enough Christ to level up all my characters. So after maintenance on Thursday, you guys will be able to go and fight Lakshmi and Mr. Titan right here. So uh, this is looking pretty good. Hopefully you guys are able to level up those uh, Espers because... Man, it's taking really, really long with those super sites. And uh, coming with the super sites, because we have uh, two new espers, we're gonna get um, a new schedule for the super sites. So on Monday, you'll be able to get all four and uh, use them. All right. So whenever all four are, you can do all four. Do all four, because that thing is really, really good. Then Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and they're just gonna go Friday, Saturday, Sunday, just the other two. So it's gonna be two, 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 and two, two, two which is okay and pretty decent for this and important maintenance are they gonna say anything good wednesday maintenance so guys that's it for the news are you guys excited for star ocean are you guys gonna pull for star ocean if yes tell me in the comment section why and uh hopefully you guys will get some five star out of that also if you are new to this channel consider leaving a like and subscribing for more and we are not done we are not done i didn't do my free daily so we're gonna go over the free daily see if we can get anything good all right let's see if we can get a rainbow out of it i really doubt it i think we're gonna get a gold hey it's a blue it's a blue all right let's crack this bad boy actually i could have put the music a little bit louder it's all right Hey, 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 all right, Anselm, you're, oh man, oh yeah, look at that trust master, drain, drain HP from one enemy, solid, all right guys, thank you so much for watching, hope you guys have a wonderful day, uh, I'll catch you guys on the next video, peace.